What if there was a single pill that could slow down or even reverse aging? You just take one pill every day and then you stay young forever. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, some scientists believe that it will soon be true. And it's not just belief. They are working really hard towards that goal. Dr. Sinclair's lab just published a study where they reverse aging in cells using cocktails of chemicals. Now they're claiming that this is the start of a future where we'll be able to use drugs, chemicals, to reverse aging in humans. They're even thinking about human clinical trials in the coming years. So is this it? Is this the end of aging? Well, not quite. A lot of scientists are very skeptical of these claims. They're even questioning these results and what they mean. So today we're gonna to look at the science. We're gonna look at these results and we're even gonna talk about why some people are skeptical of the claims made by Dr. Sinclair here. By the way, my name is Jamal Mohoza. I'm a scientist and an assistant professor of biochemistry here at UAM. So in recent years, we've had a lot of advances in the field of aging. A lot of pharmaceutical companies, research centers, and even billionaires are putting a lot of money in the field of aging. I mean, if I had a billion dollars, I wouldn't mind using a couple millions in order to buy time. One of the most prominent aging researchers, Dr. David Sinclair, has brought aging science to the mainstream. In 2019, he published a book called Lifespan, subtitled why we age and why we don't have to. And in the book, he argues that if we treat aging like a disease, we can take measures to prevent it or even treat it. From there, he's been everywhere, from the TEDx stage to the Joe Rogan experience. He's been talking about his work and the work of others in the field of aging. He talks about how we can slow down and even reverse aging using tools like gene therapy, drugs, and even supplements. However, a lot of longevity researchers do not agree with Dr. Sinclair. They say that we're nowhere near reversing aging. They say that the most effective way to slow down aging is not through drugs or supplements or even genetic engineering. Regulating stress, diet and sleep as well as exercising does way more than any pill can do in terms of longevity. Several research studies studying centenarians, these are people who live to be over a hundred, have found that the most effective way to live to a hundred and beyond is through a healthy lifestyle, a healthy diet, and a strong social network. But longevity scientists like Dr. Sinclair believe that we can use science to mimic all of these effects or even do better. And they're not just talking. They've used their tools to reverse aging in mice and even cure blindness in monkeys. Our bodies break down because our organs start to break down from the skins to the heart to the liver and so on and so forth. And the organs break down because the cells within these organs start to malfunction. And there are many theories and many reasons why that starts to happen. And these factors have been combined into what we call the hallmarks of aging. And these are nine factors that scientists agree that they contribute to aging one way or another. But they don't contribute equally. One of the most prominent theories on why we age revolves around these malfunctioning cells. We call these senescent cells. They act as zombie cells. It's like they've forgotten how to be cells. And when you have a lot of these, the organs are going to start to malfunction. Now, when you zoom in into senescent cells, you realize that through a lot of divisions, 
they've lost some information that helps them to function properly. And the main reason why this happens, according to scientists, is through epigenetics. Epigenetics involves how accessible your genes are and how easy they can be expressed. So the epigenetics of cells changes over time to the point where the cells can't function anymore. Epigenetics is very well correlated to aging that we can actually measure somebody's biological age using epigenetic testing. But the aging process involves a lot of genes and a lot of proteins. There are three main longevity genes. So we got sirtuins responsible for regulating inflammation. We got AMP kinase responsible for energy intake, especially sugar. And we got mTOR, which is responsible for amino acid intake. So those are the three main longevity genes. But we also have Yamanaka factors. These are factors that when turned on can convert adult cells into pluripotent stem cells. So pretty much young cells. So this was a very important discovery because now we could use these factors, turn them on, and then turn senescent cells into young cells again. And that, in theory, should reverse aging even in organs. And guess what? It works. Dr. Sinclair's lab at Harvard has already shown that you can turn on these factors and reverse aging in mice. I mean, look at these two mice. They're supposed to be of the same age, but look at how one looks really old while the other one is young. But all of these use genetic engineering, which is very invasive. In fact, they used viruses to deliver the genes, which is not ideal in humans. So what we need is a less invasive way to turn on these factors in humans and reverse aging. And this is where the idea of one pill comes in. This research group used different chemical cocktails combining chemicals already known to affect aging. So they use these chemical cocktails on senescent cells and they wanted to look at the epigenetics and see if they can turn it back to the levels of young healthy cells. So in this study they developed several tests to differentiate between young cells and senescent cells. So these cocktails were able to reverse senescent cells to youthful cells in less than a week, which is incredible. Dr. Sinclair says that this new discovery offers the potential to reversing aging with a single pill with applications ranging from improving eyesight to effectively treating age-related diseases. That's a bold claim, especially after just treating cells. We need to at least look at animals and see if it works in animals before we make a claim like that. So that's where criticism comes in. One of the main criticisms of Dr. Sinclair's research is that he overhypes it. Just like what he just said about using one pill to cure aging after just testing cells. In the paper, they keep talking about rejuvenation and people are saying like, you can't just come out and claim whole body rejuvenation or even organ rejuvenation after just witnessing this working in cells. And another reason why people are skeptical is because Dr. Sinclair is not just a researcher. He has a company that sells uh, supplements that are supposed to reverse aging. 
So people are saying that he's hyping the idea of using a chemical to reverse aging so that he can sell people his supplements and eventually his chemicals. But that's just speculation, but people are claiming that there is conflict of interest here. Another thing is that these chemicals are not new. Most of these chemicals are already known to affect aging in one way or another. So people are saying that there is nothing new in this study really. But criticism aside, this is a step in the right direction, right? I just want to see what it does in animals. Maybe mice, maybe primates. I would never take a drug before it goes through all of the proper channels and that's going to take many years. There are so many studies who were great on cells or even in animals, but didn't work in humans. So many of them. So we shouldn't be thinking that we have solved aging. We still have a long way to go. One Harvard professor told Daily Mail that this study is mostly hype and preliminary, which is a good summary of what I think about this study as well. It's promising, but it's mostly just preliminary studies and we have to wait for a long time until we see anything that's gonna work in humans. But we'll keep in touch with this study and see where it goes. The good news is that you can slow down and reverse aging right now by using natural means. So as we talked about exercise, regulating stress, diet and sleep, as well as staying away from tobacco and heavy drinking and things like that will work better than any pill we can find right now. But I have a question for you. If they discovered a pill and they tell you that if you take it every day, it's gonna slow down your aging, would you take it? Tell me in the comments. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.